Hello, and thanks again for tuning in with your parents, or maybe on your own, if that's the case. The question that I have for you to consider right now is about homework or schoolwork in general. Let's narrow it down to, say, math class. When you're working on problems in math and you get to an answer, how confident are you? Maybe the better you get or the easier the questions are, you're very confident, but maybe you get to something that you don't understand as well as you want to. And so as you get the answer, you wonder if it's right. What do you do? Do you ask the teacher? If you're in class, yeah. Maybe you're at home and you ask your parents. Maybe they're able to help. Or maybe you're with a friend who has the same class, the same assignment, and you know that they're really good at it, so you ask them. Sometimes that happens, not just in math class, but any class or any area in life. We, we come across things that we think we have it right, but we're not quite sure, so we need to ask someone else. In the gospel lesson, God takes care of that exact type of problem for his disciples and really for you and me. As I mentioned at the beginning of our service, maybe we're wondering if we're right about Jesus. We hear what he has to say, we listen to his teachings, we see the miracles, and maybe we come to a conclusion, but other things start happening and we wonder, are we right? Is Jesus really the Son of God? Is he really the Savior of the world? And as we'll talk about in the sermon in a little bit, God takes away that uncertainty and tells us specifically, yes, Jesus is his Son, and therefore he is the Savior of the world. And we are right to think so, and we are right to listen to him. So today as we pray, we're just going to thank God for taking away our doubt and making us certain that Jesus is our Savior. Can you wiggle your fingers and fold your hands? Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for showing us for certain that Jesus is our Savior. He is your Son, and with his work of salvation, you are well pleased, for you love him. Thank you for showing us this. Thank you for making us certain of our salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen.